Hi guys, so today I'm going to bring you guys a video on the products that I regret buying. And I feel like I buy lots of stuff and I don't really look into it and I go home, I play with it and I'm like, what did I just do? So I have a couple things, um, different brands. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, the first thing that I regret buying, this was the first thing that came to my head when I knew I was going to make this video, is a Keisha K. Or lipstick. Um, this is the Snooky one and I actually do like the color of it. It's a pretty color. Because I'm a pink fool. I love pink. Anything that's pink, it's mine. Um, but the thing is, I can find this color at MAC for $15. This lipstick was $22, and then with shipping, it was around $30. Is this worth $30? Definitely not. And the quality, honestly, is not that great. I mean, I could find the same quality in a MAC lipstick or even like a Maybelline lipstick. I'm not even lying. So yeah, to regret buying that. The next thing is this e.l.f. blush. This is Pink Passion. Looks like that. But I bought this because I was gonna find a dupe for a NARS blush, because I mean, why pay so much money for a blush when you can just get one for a dollar at um, Target, like why? So I put this on and I couldn't even see it. Um, like, it just kind of fades off. It just doesn't even show up on my skin like the NARS one does. So, it's a dollar, whatevs. Next is a Tarina Tarantino. Tarina Tarantino. Right, Tarina Tarantino. Blush, not blush. Is this a blush truck? No. Um, glitter in Sparkle City Pure Opal. And this is a little packaging. But this shit sucked, and I'm so frustrated with this because I've had it for, oh, it's all over the place. Um, when you put it on, like, I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with glitter, like, if it's glitter, it's mine, just like pink. But look at the glitter, like, hold on, let me see if I can find a better spot. You put it on and that freaking disappears, it's just like, what? It's so pretty, like, in the, in the can, it's so pretty, I can't get over it. I'll show you guys how it looks. Without trying to make a mess. It's like a bluish. I don't know. It's so pretty. Especially like on your finger, it's pretty. But then like when you start to like put it on, it's just like, what? Really? And I'm sure that was like um, 20 some odd bucks, I'm sure. All right. The next one is um, the Sephora eyeliner. And I bought this because I wanted a blue eyeliner that was going to be a little bit more vibrant than the ones I have now, like, I just wanted something that'd be creamy, I can put it on, and it'd be really adorbs, but this one fell short of that. So it looks like this. I tried to play with it, you know. I put that on, and it looks, like, black. Like, it just doesn't look blue, it looks black. I'm just like, wait, why can't it be this color? And then, you know, it's not that color. Very frustrating, but, um... Whatever, I mean, I don't really expect much from Sephora brand anyways, so. Next is this Lime Crime eyeshadow. It's uh, Magic Dust Vegan Blues eyeshadow. Um, now the thing with this is, on the website, they have like pictures of how it looks on the model. And when I put it on, it looked like a beach cosmetic shadow. I'm not trying to like throw shit at Beach Cosmetics, but like, they're cheap. They're not high quality. Now, you can find some good Beach Cosmetics eyeshadows, but sometimes when you swatch them, they're like, oh, okay. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's like this green. <gasps> oh, fuck. I'm a mess. Well, let me try to swatch it. My cell phone is getting the short end of the stick here. how the green looks you can't even see it it's just like I put it on I'm just like wait what where where are you like do I just swatch you like what do I have to like apply 10,000 times to get like the actual color not good mm, wouldn't buy that again personally I wouldn't but that's just me next this is a Kat Von D palette I bought this was years ago um they still have it out though I think it's called the metal or orchestra by Kat Von D, and don't get me wrong, Kat Von D has really good stuff. I love her makeup line. But this one, I think it's just, just me because, like, 
I mean, I'm, I might really gonna use those. I mean, I used the silver all the time. I, like, I used this one. This was like my fave. That was like my staple. I used to use that all the time in high school. But it's just like, I mean, I can find a silver anywhere. Like, why would I buy this whole pack for the silver? I actually regret buying it because I don't wear these colors like that. But if you do, then you'll probably enjoy it. So, and next is this powder by MAC. It's like the um, in Invisibly Loose Powder. Invisible. I should know this. It's just a loose powder and it's, it's, it's made for highlighting your face. And this shade does look like some damn... I don't... It didn't look like nothing on me. It looks like this. Um, it's pretty in the jar. I mean, it's pretty, but it's on the skin. It just tends to disappear. It just disappears. And this is made of like 70 or 90 or some percentage of water. So when you put it on your face, it gives like a cooling effect, which I like. Now, one thing I did like from this little lineup was the truth and light. The truth and light was gorgeous on me. Um... I've had this for years and I'm out of it almost. I still have a little bit left, but yeah, so those are, oh, here's one more. <laughs> it's sitting on my vanity, I'm just now thinking of it. Great Lash. Not the mascara, the little eyebrow gel. This thing. Now, I just wanted a cheap little, you know, something to put in my eyebrows. Just, if I don't want to do too much, I can just kind of, you know, gel them up. But when I put this on, I had gel all the way up to here, all the gel over here. I'm like, wait, what, what? I just put it on right, and then it's just like transfers on to everything, and it's just like, oh my goodness gracious. All I want is a little bit of gel on my eyebrows. I don't want it on my forehead. I don't want it on my sideburns. I don't want it on my beard. I just want a damn brow gel. But I'm over it because I just bought one from MAC, and the MAC ones are fan-fucking-tastic. Excuse my French bitch. Um, but yeah. So that sums up my video. Those are pretty much the products I regret buying. Um, I feel like I've been off in this video. Like I feel like I have to zoom in. What else? All right, and I will see you guys in my next video. Um, stay tuned because I'm gonna come out with a video I'm working on now that's gonna be good. Okay. Oh god. Bye guys.